What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and we are going to the Super Bowl! Okay, all jokes aside, I am born and raised in Tampa Bay, Florida, so this is a huge Super Bowl for me, my friends, my family. So you already know it's TV 12 all day and we are gonna go crazy with a fire recipe that you can put out for your family and your friends on Super Bowl. Before we get into that, if you're watching this video and you aren't subscribed already, scroll down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and stay tuned because I'm doing a $100 giveaway later on in this video. All right, so without any further ado, I'm about to give you guys the most fire, flavorful, easy, bomb, supreme Super Bowl nachos that you've ever had, guaranteed. I'm not gonna talk about it. Roll the B-roll. All right, so it looks like a lot of ingredients, but I promise this is a very easy recipe. So the ingredients you'll need are flour, red onion, avocado, a tomato, lime, garlic, corn, pickled jalapeno, sriracha, taco seasoning, ground turkey, thick tortilla chips, whole milk, butter, diced green chilies, sour cream, jalapeno cream cheese, Dijon mustard, three pepper Colby Jack or pepper Jack, and sharp cheddar cheese. All right, so we're gonna start with the prep work and we are gonna take our red onion, run a few horizontal lines, through it, then some vertical lines, and then run your knife through it for a fine chop and put that into your mixing bowl. Next, you're gonna take your tomato, you're gonna cut your tomato in half, run some horizontal and vertical lines through it, and then right down the middle for a nice chop, and then put it into your bowl. Next, you're gonna take an ear of corn, put it down flat, run your knife from the top all the way down to the bottom, trying to get the full kernels and just put those in your mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna start with a few pieces of garlic, smash each piece down, and then run your knife through it several times to get a nice fine chop and put that back in your mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna take our cilantro, cut yourself about a handful out, and then you're gonna run your knife through that several times so you get a nice fine chop and put that into your mixing bowl. Next, you're gonna take a few of your pickled jalapenos and you're just gonna throw those in there. I like to do probably about 10 to 15 pieces. I like a little bit more spicy, so I tend to do a little bit more jalapeno. Lastly, you're gonna take your lime, just cut that in half. If you want the best mix possible, you always throw a glove on. No glove, no love. And go ahead and mix thoroughly. Okay, so before you put it in the fridge, you're gonna have your celebrity taste tester back on the show and he's gonna try it. This is our Ooh, fresh corn salsa. What's your name, bro? Mother <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna do our cheeses. We have our three pepper Colby Jack, and we're gonna want about a cup of this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shred this up. All right, so I've got about a cup of my three pepper Colby Jack, and then we're gonna do two cups of our sharp cheddar. You're just gonna put that in your mixing bowl as well, and you are done with the cheese. All right, next we are gonna make our two toppings that are gonna go on top of our nachos first we are gonna do a sriracha sour cream. We're gonna try to squeeze flavor in there wherever and however we can. So I've got a eight ounce thing of sour cream. I'm gonna take half of that, put that in a Ziploc, and then we're gonna take our sriracha sauce and do a little squeeze in there, zip it up, and then mix it up. And then put this off to the side. Next, we're gonna take two small avocados, squeeze them into a bowl. Then you're gonna mash them up. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna get flavor in here any way that we can. So we're gonna take some of our jalapeno brine and we're just gonna put a little bit in there. Mix that up so we can get this thinned out. And then once you've got it thinned out, you're just gonna take a spoon and get that into your second Ziploc bag. Once you're done, you're gonna put your sriracha sour cream and your jalapeno avocado in the fridge. And the last thing that you've gotta do for your prep work is just pour out two cups of whole milk. Now that we've got all the prep work done, we're gonna switch the cameras around and we're gonna cook our ground turkey and our cheese sauce on the stove. 
and then we just put our nachos together. Let's get it. You're gonna put a large skillet on medium high heat and add in your ground turkey and immediately start to break it up. After about four or five minutes, it should cook thoroughly like this. Once it does, we are gonna add in two tablespoons of diced green chilies and mix that up thoroughly. Let that cook for about a minute while you mix up your taco seasoning with water and dump that into the mixture. Now you're gonna set your burner on the lowest setting. Go ahead and mix all that turkey in with all that seasoning. Make sure everything is covered and we are gonna let this simmer for five to 10 minutes. Now on the lowest heat, we're gonna melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once melted, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour and immediately start to whisk. Continue to whisk until it's completely combined. Then we're gonna continue to whisk for another 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, we're gonna add in a cup and a half of milk. Find your whisk, cause we're back to whisking for another 60 seconds. Once fully combined, let it sit for two or three minutes and you should notice it has started to thicken up. Once it thickens up, we're gonna go ahead and add in eight ounces of jalapeno cream cheese. Then we're gonna add in our shredded cheddar and Colby Jack. Now, on the lowest heat still, we're gonna try to whisk this all together while letting it melt. It's gonna be globby, it's gonna be thick and gross, so we're gonna add in a little bit more of our milk to try to thin it out. Go ahead and whisk that in, and guess what? If you need a little bit more milk, f it, use it. Go ahead and whisk until you find the perfect nacho cheese consistency. Once that consistency is spot on, we're gonna add a generous pinch of salt, a ton of black cracked pepper, a tablespoon or so of Dijon mustard, a few splashes of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, and we are gonna whisk that sh together. Yes, sir, go ahead and taste that fire cheese. Once it is taste but approved, scoop in your turkey and green chilies, give that thing a mix, and you are done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make the nachos. Bruh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is about that time. Without any further ado, introducing our taste tester for tonight, my boy, Roy Motives, Mr. Gronkowski Jersey. Sir, how does this look, bro? He's actually late for a date right now. He stayed like an extra 30 minutes so he could try this. I'm about to shit myself. So this is a double layer turkey, cheese, fr just go, 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 bro. Grab one, find one that looks beautiful and go crazy. Ready, three, two, one. Holy That's like shit. the perfect amount of heat. Oh my goodness, man. Mm. Yes. 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 I'm glad I'm coming over here for Super Bowl. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. I'm gonna try to explain it to y'all the best I can. This is not like any of the nachos, okay? The combination of flavor from the guacamole to the sauce the chip combination, I don't know. I can't describe it. It's just like, it, it's layered perfectly, bro. Like, mm, this shit is gas, mm -hmm. bro. And I'm going to fucking be punished for this tomorrow. Um, But this shit is absolutely phenomenal. These are the best nachos I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got other words. Um, I'm gonna take one more to go. This shit's gas. He's out, he's got a date, hot date. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This may be the best plate of nachos you have ever had. It's flavorful, crunchy, spicy, sweet, cheesy, filling, it's amazing. Make these for Super Bowl, I promise everybody at your party will love them. Also, we have a $100 giveaway to do right now. All you need to do is go into the comment section and type in what? Brady. That's right, all you have to do is type in Brady and you might win $100. Also, while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and let me know what you wanna see next week. That's it, more seasoning. I am your host, Farnham. We'll be back next week with a Valentine's Day dish. We out. Hey, I'm a nacho pro. Go crazy, bro. Mm. Uh -huh. And everything is good. That I have no idea what it is that I'm tasting that is good because everything is good. If the Bucks lose, I'll eat 10 jalapenos on camera. That's a lot, 10. If the Bucks lose, I'll eat three jalapenos on camera. Let's go.